Hi student, I am Dr. Lomwini Ngamwa, course coordinator for Diploma in Education, DE, and Diploma in Education Secondary, DES. DE and DES are accredited qualifications and are registered on the NQF Level 7. Thank you for choosing the Institute for Open Learning as your partner in education. Here, we believe that education is the greatest equalizer. Upon registration, all students have access to IOL Student Portal. This is your learning hub where you will find all the important information as well as study material needed for effective and pleasant study experience. Important information for DES and DE. These courses are all offered on a distance mode. Students receive an electronic book called Kindle. The Kindle is, is preloaded with the necessary study material for the enrolled qualification. New material can be uploaded at any time throughout the study period. DES, you will have to select any two of the following subjects. You select from English, Afrikaans, Mathematics, Biology, Geography, History, Accounting, and Economics. Take note, any combination is allowed, but think carefully which combination will work for your career. DE students, you are only allowed to take one elective. DE is a one and a half year qualification for which IOL distance education students receive up to three years to complete the qualification. While DES is a three year qualification, but you will receive up to six years to complete. You need to meet certain academic criteria in order to submit assignment for next year. For DES student, to submit the second year assignment, the student needs to pass six subjects in the first year. And to submit the third year assignments, student needs to pass nine first year and six second year subject. For the DE students, there are no requirements to submit your assignments. The school-based studies, which is SBS. School-based studies is a compulsory subject for all the education qualifications, which includes DE and DES. The student must qualify to do SBS at the school of their choice. Each phase has a specific number of weeks that the student will have to do their practical at the school. The requirements to qualify for DES and DESBS. Let's start with the DE students. DE students have two phases. Phase one, six first year subject must be passed. To go to phase two, all first year subject must be passed. For the DES students, you have four phases. For phase one, you need to pass six first year subject. For phase two, you need to pass nine first year subject, SBS one, and six second year subject. To go to phase three, you need to pass nine first year subject, nine second year subject, plus your SBS two. To go to phase four, you need to pass nine first year, all second year, and your SBS 3. Your duration for the SBS school-based study. For DE, you remember you have two phases of SBS and you will spend four weeks at school for each phase. DES, you have four phases of SBS and you will spend four weeks at school for each phase. When you're at the school, you will receive an SMS once you qualify for SBS. You then have to submit a principal's permission letter called PPL with the information of the school of your choice. The, this PPL is available on your portal. The SBS assignment and study guide will be made available to you after you submit your PPL. Basic first aid. 
Basic first aid is compulsory subject in DES and DE. DES student qualifies for BFA when they are in their third year. But the DE student qualifies for BFA when they have completed 10 subjects. You will be informed via text message to book for BFA once you qualify to do it. Assignments. All your assignments can be found on the student portal and should be submitted on time. The due dates to submit assignments is 15th of January and June of each year. Now, the June date will depend on the Ministry of Education's official school calendar and will be communicated to students. If you mail or courier your assignments, you should ensure that you do it in ample time to beat the due dates. Assignment received after the due date will be returned to you. Assignment with a pass mark of at least 50% will get you admitted to the examination. Plagiarism in assignments. You should, under no circumstances, copy from another student. Should copied assignment be detected by the tutors, all students involved will be allocated a mark of 2%. The disciplinary committee will evaluate copied assignment, which may result in students being suspended for one year. If you submit wrong assignment or maybe another subject assignment, you will receive a mark of 3%. All unmarked assignment will be sent back to you with the reason why it was not marked. Conduct classes. IOL has scheduled pre-recorded conduct classes on Saturdays for examination preparation. The conduct class timetable is made available on IOL's Facebook page and students are informed via text message. Recordings of these conduct classes can also be accessed on the IOL YouTube channel. Examination. You are advised to write at least three subjects of your qualification per examination session to ensure completion of studies within the given time frame. IOL implemented an online examination booking system, which allows you to write examination at time convenient to your schedule. You can only write examination at the examination center, which is indicated on your admission permit. IOL also offer the following services. IOL social media publication where you can check all your, um, our IOL Facebook page for varieties of updates and announcements. We also have resource centers, so you can visit the resource center at any IOL office near you. We also have a system called Study Buddy where you can request the information of other IOL students doing the same course and that are closer to you. Thank you very much. In case you have any question regarding this qualification, do not hesitate to contact me at 061-270-9155 or at my email address, ndatalomwenein at tgh.na.